putting a distributor in, but I want you to look at the timing tab and notice it. What we're looking at here is that is your timing tab there. And if you look on the front of the balancer, I've got TDC mark. That's that mark up there. So you've got your, your zero mark on the tab is down here. And then I've got 10 degrees before top dead center marked. And you'll notice I've set the number one piston about 10 degrees before top dead center. Now you can do this on zero, but I like to do it about 10 degrees before TDC. So I want you to make a note of that. So right now my piston is just 10 degrees before top dead center on the power stroke. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the distributor and I'm gonna show you how to get that in. All right, now I know most of you know this already, but I've gotten so many requests for people asking me how to hook this up and how to set this up, I wanna talk about it. So this is your distributor. It has a gear down here that's driven by the camshaft. It also has a piece down here that meshes with the oil pump. The oil pump shaft goes in here and this drives the oil pump shaft. So this goes in meshes with the cam gear here and also has to drive the oil pump. Now a lot of times when we put these in, I actually have another video called how to install a distributor and I go through this. A lot of times what happens is you'll get this distributor in and it'll mesh with the gear down here but it doesn't line up with the oil pump on the bottom and you'll notice that the distributor won't go all the way in. It sits up about a half inch and it just won't go down and go flush with the manifold. Well, there's a real simple way to, to, to do that, and I'm gonna show you that. But more importantly, what I need to know is I need to know, so right now you saw that we have the engine right about top dead center, 10 degrees before TDC. We want this engine to fire initially when we start it up at 10 degrees before top dead center. So since the piston is sitting 10 degrees before top dead center right now, I want my rotor here pointing right at the number one spark plug wire when I start this thing up, right? So when I set my distributor up, this is my number one here, and I'll mark that before I put it on. That's my number one. I want the rotor here pointing right at that number one plug wire. Well. The cap, when it goes on, it only goes on one way. There's a locating dowel on this cap, and this is just my run stand cap. So the cap goes on, and there's some slots on here. If you look at this, there's a slot right there. That slot coincides with a slot inside the cap. So this guy goes on here, and you'll feel it lock in when you put it on. Right there, it just locked into the slot. So you can see right next to this, right next to this mounting clamp, there is a, there is a small square dowel that fits right there in that square dowel. So it goes just like that. And if you don't have it lined up, it's the cap's not going to fit right. But when I slide it over and I line up with that, that square dowel, what you'll notice is the cap pops down on there. So that dowel goes right into that slot right there and that locates the cap. So the cap goes on, it only goes on one way, it's located. What I need to do is I need to make sure that after the cap is on, when I get the distributor in the engine, this rotor is pointing to my number one spark plug wire. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on, I'm gonna line up my dowel, and then my number one spark plug is right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a number one right there. Also, I'm gonna mark the body of the distributor right in line with that number one. So now I know where that number one is. Once I take the cap off and put my distributor in, I know just exactly where that rotor needs to be pointing. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be, I know it's not like I'm contradicting myself, but it doesn't have to be exactly on that mark when you install it because you, you have some adjustment here. When this hooks into the, the camshaft and the oil pump, this is gonna turn the rotor, but the body of the distributor where the cap is attached moves independently of that. So this thing is gonna be locked into the cam gear, right? And I have some adjustment here. So if I get this in and I'm off a little bit, 
I can actually move the distributor over here and get it right on. This is how you set your timing by moving the distributor and dialing that in. And we'll put a timing light on and I'll show that to you. But that's the gist of it, guys. You want your rotor pointing very near where that's at, where your number one is. If you do it like that, when, you're, when your engine is on top dead center compression, now you gotta make sure it's on the compression stroke. If it's on the exhaust stroke, your rotor's gonna be 180 out. Your timing's gonna be 180 off. So make sure you're on the, the top dead center on the power stroke or the compression, the, yeah, the power stroke. All right, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and stick our distributor in the engine and try to get it lined up here. So now we're, we're back here, we've come to the back of the motor and remember, we have marked our distributor where our number one on our cap is gonna be. And then now make sure you got this gasket on here and then we're just gonna gently lay that distributor down in. It's always a good idea to put some lube on this gear as well. So I recommend some assembly lube or at the very least, you definitely wanna put some oil on this. Lube up that gear because it's going to mesh with the cam gear. And then, now, as a general rule on the Chevrolet, when, once we get this in, the vacuum advance right here is usually going to point at this cylinder right here. Not the rear cylinder, but the second one from the back, right? Which is number six. Now, I know that my mark is way up here on the front. So I'm going to rotate my rotor and then I'm just going to, now when it goes in and meshes with that cam gear, as it meshes into the gear, it's going to move the rotor clockwise. So I've got the rotor, my mark is about right here. My mark is about right here, and my rotor is pointing over here, because I know it's going to move about that much. Now watch what happens when I get into that gear. Once I get down into the gear, it's going to move. So it moved. Now, the question I need to ask myself here is, where this distributor is sitting, can I line this up with my mark, right? And I can. Now that I've got the distributor into that point, you can put this anywhere you want. But if you'll notice down here, we're not flush. You can feel that this is meshed with the cam gear, but what's happening, the reason this is sticking up here is because I'm not lining up with my oil pump shaft that's coming up underneath. So really all you got to do is rotate the motor. I can turn it by hand or I can crank it. I'm going to crank it and you'll see this thing fall. I'm not going to lose my timing or my position because when I crank it, the rotor is going to turn, but the engine's going to turn with it. So it's going to stay timed. So I've got the battery hooked up and I'll, I'll zoom on in us because I want you guys to see it. You know, a lot of guys will try to get a screwdriver and they'll mess around with this thing. All you gotta do is rotate the motor. So I'm just gonna touch the key. I'm gonna hold on to the distributor body here. And I'm just gonna touch the key and I want you to watch right here where that distributor is. And you'll, you'll see the rotor is turning with the engine, but the, the distributor body is not. It's where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna rotate it and what that's gonna do is that's gonna, that's gonna allow this to drop into the oil pump. And there it goes. I just touched the key and it dropped right in. And that's really all you got to do. So now that you've got that, you can put your distributor hold down on. We're right where we need to be. We can put our cap on and get ready to fire this thing up. Okay, now as far as setting your wires up on this, guys. So here is your distributor cap. And of course, the front of your engine is up here. Now the firing order on the small block Chevy is one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That means that's the order that as this rotor comes around that the wires need to be in. So right now my rotor is pointing at number two, which is at the end of the firing order, but that's just for the demo. You can see they've got on this chart, they've got the rotor at number two, and they're showing it darkened out so number two would be firing. But we're gonna start with number one. So you got your distributor in, and remember we marked our number one wire here. So what we wanna do, we know that our rotor's gonna be real, according to what we just saw, how we set this up, our rotor's gonna be real close to number one here. Now as far as running the wires, 
we're gonna we're gonna go one one is up here on the left hand bank on on the front and the next one in the firing order is eight so your next spark plug wire is going to go to the rear cylinder on the right hand side and then of course we've got four that means that the next spark plug wire is going to come over here to number four we keep moving on and remember this rotates clockwise here we keep going we get number three so our number three wire is going to come over to number three so one eight four three then we've got six so we're going to run our number six wire to the second cylinder back on the right hand side of the engine right and left is always looking at the engine from the back side so this would be this would be right bank down here and this up here would be left bank then we've got five so we're going to run our number five wire to here third one back on the left bank and then seven five and seven are right next to each other and of course seven's real easy it just goes here so one eight four three six five seven and then of course the last one over here is two they've got it darkened out because the rotor's pointing to it and two is going to come all the way up front that is how your wires are going to be set up so the firing order one eight four three six five seven two and the cylinder number on the left bank is one three five and seven on the right bank is two four six eight now that's for chevrolet if you're doing a ford it's different uh same concept but it's a different firing order so that's the way that you're going to set your wires up if you need to you can pause the video and take a close look at this and, and go through this one by one if you want to, if you're not familiar with this. Most of you guys I know will be familiar with this, but that's basically how your wires are going to be set up.